Welcome! In today's episode, we are going to take a look at Toyota's newest entrance into humanoid bipedal robots. And this one even thinks it's Karate Kid. This is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. And let's get right into this. Toyota is best known for their automobiles, but they have been in the robot market for a long, long time. According to them, they've been at it since the 70s, where they started working on mechanical arms to automate their automotive building process. But it was somewhere around 2000 that they got into the humanoid biped robot. And they did that with the partner robot program. The early ones looked like something out of sci-fi, could barely walk, but they could play instruments. And they're actually playing them too, like the robot that plays the trumpet here, he is playing the trumpet. And they even had a violinist as well. These early partner robots were an exercise in dexterity. They wanted hand control, they wanted fine motor movements, and that's what they focused on. I mean, this is around the same time that Asimo looked sort of like this. He was able to walk and stuff, do a little bit of avoidance, but really not a lot of ability. None of the robots of the time did. Well, the last humanoid robot we saw from Toyota was way back in 07, 10 years ago. And that's when they were talking about where they wanted to take the future of their humanoid robots. Since then, they've put out a couple different things, which has been more like robotic advancements for the human body, just attachments to make the body a little bit better. And their human support robot turned out looking like this, which just earlier this year they completed in-home trials. And it did perform pretty spectacular. Well, now Toyota announced this. This is the THR3 humanoid robot. It has 32 degrees of mobility, which is like 32 different joints. And while it is very, very capable, extremely well balanced, able to move through all different maneuvers, and in a lot of cases, do it better than a human can do. They also designed a master maneuvering system. What this allowed Toyota to do is take a lot of the fine movements and hand those over to a human being who was already skilled in completing those types of tasks. So now you might be thinking to yourself, well, this isn't as cool as Atlas, the backflipping Boston Dynamics robot. And I'll give you that, it can't backflip. And it's not even autonomously controlled. But where Atlas focuses to be more of a, a brute strength, get it done, bounce on top of a pile of rubbish type of platform, this new Toyota robot is meant to, according to Toyota, support doctors, caregivers, and patients, the elderly, and people with disabilities. This robot is meant to have the fine motor skills that would allow it to reach down, grab a patient, and help them out of bed without crushing their arm. That's something Atlas can't do. And to me, that's the real beauty of this system. They've developed a two-part system that will allow a robot to interact interact with objects like a balloon or a soft ball and send proper feedback to the operator that makes it seem like he's sitting there squeezing the ball himself, giving him the feedback that he needs to pluck something and set it on top of a pedestal. Those fine motor movements will one day allow this robot to administer shots to patients or help someone take a drink from a cup. I think we're seeing what could be the beginnings of a true support and like companion robot. Another thing that makes it so cool is Toyota now has the ability to automate most everything a robot can do. You give it basic abilities to plot a course, avoid obstacles, and yield way to humans, this thing can get through most of its day. But when it gets into a tough situation, it could basically call up Toyota and they could put a human being on this master control system to do the fine movements and allow the robot to carry on with its day. Another thing we're seeing advancements in right now is robots learning by watching what someone does. Basically, the robot can learn the task just by seeing someone perform it a couple times. So basically, what we're seeing here is the platform that could build all of our future robots. A platform that allows them to interact with our world through touch and sense, and allows them to be safe around human beings. I really think Toyota might be onto something here. But I want to know what you think. Is this one of the earliest helper bots that we are going to see? Or do you feel like there's better platforms out there already? And would you be able to live with a humanoid robot in your house, walking up and down your steps and helping take care of you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want interesting news five days a week, click that subscribe button so you know when I upload something new. I want to thank you all for stopping in and checking out my video. And until next time, have fun and be safe.